here by this lake. It's called Grand Basan and it's a sacred site for Hindus in Mauritius. Mauritius uh, is a Hindu country um, and the majority of people here are Hindu. You can see some big statues over there. I'm actually just on my way to go on a hike uh, but I found this place so I thought might as well visit it. It's in a place called Grand Basan. You have to take a bus ride. Um, and the bus only goes like three times a day, so I don't know how I'm going to get back, but I'm here. So that's that. And hopefully I'll be able to go hiking later. It's a nice, relaxed place. Quiet by the lake. So yeah, this is the Hanuman Temple. You can see what Mauritius looks like. Some mountains over there. More lakes. And yeah. I hope I can get to that big statue and then I'll head toward the uh, national park. I see some monuments there. And the sacred lake. So this is the big statue, as you can see. It's quite big. You see the cow down there, big statue of Shiva. So this is a bit further from the lake, it's by the road actually. And there's another statue headed over there. I am headed in that direction so we'll get a frontal view of it. But you can see the, uh, I assume it's a cow but it looks a bit different. Uh, we'll see, I'm going straight uh, toward the national park, it should be like two kilometers from here. Uh, but yeah, this place was a nice visit. If you're visiting the Black Gorges National Park, Black River Gorges National Park, you should visit Grand Basan for the sacred lake and some big statues, to say the least. So yeah, as we head down, maybe one last look at the uh, big statue. Oh, you can go in apparently, but yeah. Uh. So yeah, very peaceful place overall if you come in the morning hours at least. I don't know about the afternoon. Oh, it's a lion. Yeah, it looks like a lion. And again, Shiva, I think. So yeah, two very nice statues, very nice lake, quiet ambience. Good place. So I'll see you at the National Park. So I've now entered the Black River Gorges National Park and look at the view it's very nice <coughs> um, entrance is free by the way <coughs> and there are different routes there's many different routes I'm doing the loop which is about seven to eight kilometers easy enough for a few hours hike and I uh, should see a waterfall on the way yeah really nice view actually <coughs> well well we can see the waterfall from here I don't know if you guys can see it um, but yeah, there's two. One coming from the right, one coming down. Looks so slow from here, but it's quite tall actually. It's a nice view. I'm gonna keep walking on the loop. Maybe the uh, loop will take me to the other side, which means I'll get to see it from above or closer. We'll find out. I think there's a lot of mosquitoes here. My whole body is itching. Wow, from this viewpoint you can see the sea. I wonder if that's the La Morne Peninsula. But yeah, you can see a lot of beaches and sea from here. I'm gonna continue the walk. After a lot of mud and <coughs> mosquitoes, I think I found the source of a waterfall. Not bad. I'm not going to go down further, but this is it. Hello to the monkey. <laughs> Hello. Look at this monkey, it has a beard. 
It's like an old man. Mm. Wow. Hi. Show us your beard. <laughs> it really has a beard. seven cascades where there's 12 waterfalls and this is the first one I think I don't know if it's the first one or the 12th one but we found one of them it's difficult to find the hiking trail because there's no sign actually but I don't think this is the trail but we found one We're not really following the route, but we're finding them. Huh. Uh, yeah, some other people are here. Oh, those are the local guys. second waterfall. Um, I think this is the main one, Tamarin. Uh, but I think the fourth one is also good. But Are you gonna fall? This is the Tamarind Falls. And this is the third one. Currently, I'm hiking up La Morne, Le, Le Morne, which is a peninsula on the southeast coast of Mauritius and uh, there's a big mountain or a hill here and I'm hiking it it's surrounded by ocean and the mountain the trail is three and a half kilometers let's see what kind of view we'll see there's the famous underwater waterfall near here. Let's see if it's possible to see it from up here. So I'm maybe halfway up. Yeah, this is the view. Hopefully we go higher and see more. 
So to get to the top you have to climb this. Oh you can't see it anymore. Maybe in a minute. Here. That's the hike. Looks doable. Some climbing to do. Very steep. So you can see here what I think is the underwater waterfall. It's hard to see. It's not a waterfall actually, it's a optical illusion where the sand is falling inside the water and makes it look like a waterfall. Can't exactly see it from here but you can see the planes hovering over it which means it's right under there. It looks nice but I can't see the movement of the sand. Almost at the top. Good views. That's the peninsula and the small beach. So this apparently is the highest you can go. That's the highest, but this is where the trail ends. Not sure if you can see it. I can't really see it on the water waterfalls. But it's there somewhere. Maybe here.